Hi, this is Maginoni, and here's uh, my reviews for the New Avenger 7, Shadowland 505, and Daredevil 512. Now, one thing I will say is there is, in some cases, a spark of something that's interesting in some of these issues here. But the truth of the matter here is when you're making a lame cake, uh, and you need three cups of something that's lame, here you go, right here. Um, we'll start off with the Avengers. Now, this is your basic transition issue because, you know, you had this big battle for six issues, so they need to calm things down and get the team work looking more like a, like a family type thing. So, basically, you have the team sitting around the table eating, you have the official bringing in of Doctor Strange, uh, you have some funny dialogue with, between Spider-Man and, and um, the team. You know, the team gets paychecks, but Spider-Man can't get a paycheck because he doesn't want to reveal his secret identity. He refuses to reveal his secret identity, especially in the presence of somebody who worked for Osborn. So, you know, it's like little things like that that's kind of funny. Um, also, you had uh, the uh, nanny hiring process for um, uh, the baby here. Now... When they went through the list of each, you know, you show the different people. I thought some of them were kind of funny. Like they had D-Man and um, um, you had She-Hulk in there. And She-Hulk's like, I'm insulted, you know, because I'm a lawyer. I'm an Avenger type thing. But you also you had some that were really bad, like, you know, the Guardians of the Galaxy type of people. Why would they even be here? Uh, was it U.S. 80 or something like that, that trucker dude? Who's like, I just want to get off the road, man. I really need to get off the road. You know, that part was kind of funny. And I thought it was, it took me a second to remember where this guy came from. But then I remembered, oh yeah, it was from that trucking comic. So, I mean, there's little things like that that's kind of funny. But other than that, there's just really nothing, a whole lot of nothing happened in this issue. Uh, other than it's that they're, we're going to sit here for a while until things get interesting again. Now, with Shadowland and, Sh and Daredevil... Um, they really blew it, in my opinion, because you could have had some interesting battles along the way with um, Doctor Strange and um, Ghost Rider, which you kind of did a little bit, but it was over before you even knew it started type of a thing. You know, because basically Ghost Rider underestimated the demon that was inside Daredevil, and he just got himself owned, basically. Uh, from there... You had um, interesting dialogue here with um, inside Matt Murdock, and he's being visited by his mother, his father, and finally Electra. So that part was kind of interesting, but it wasn't quite good enough. Now, there's another picture. I mean, I know it's going to spoil this part a little bit, but this book is a couple weeks late. I mean, I'm reviewing this a couple weeks late, so I think you guys should have been able to read it by now. Basically... This here, these two pages, actually these three pages right here, are directly out of a manga. I don't know where they got it from, but this is not your typical Marvel artwork here. And the only thing that kind of sucks is even though this is, I mean, the way the positions are, the way the the action is, it's, it, it's I don't know, it's, to me it's like it's missing the heart of what it should have been. Like, what they should have really done is that they wanted to copy it. They should have read, like, Hajime no Ippo or something like that, or even Saint Seiya, and then watched that type of punching where they put their, you know, 1,000% of their heart and soul into that final punch. And then I think, then I think, this would have paid off a little better. Um, also, the way they killed Daredevil, I thought was unbelievably cheap. Unbelievably. I... When I read that part, I really felt truly insulted. And I, I really, at that moment, just wish I never touched Shadowland. Now, when I read the Daredevil part... Now, correct, now, tell me if you guys felt the same way, but when I saw this guy, the detective, who was patrolling around, all I'm thinking of is, that's Commissioner Gordon. And I'm like... Once I started to think that's Commissioner Gordon, I, it, it, I just couldn't get that out of my head, and it really became a distraction to me from this book. Um, 
all this really is doing here is this issue is basically saying, okay, the war is over, they still have the ninja problem, and uh, Black Panther comes into town, and they show you what, what happened to Matt Murdock. And, you know, like, even though I know they were saying Matt Murdock's supposed to die or Daredevil's supposed to die, he doesn't die. And to me, I thought it was a really cheap, very cheap ploy that they did. Uh, Bullseye, though, is still dead, apparently. Now, I think the artwork, though, is pretty good in this. Uh, I think um, there's some like some good moments of art in here. And um, it's a shame that, I mean, I'm definitely not going to buy anything after this. Uh, the art is the same, so if you like the first six issues, then you'll like this one. This one, I think, again, this one had some good moments and some bad moments. It's uh, nothing fantastic, but I think there's... It, I mean, it basically would hold its own, I think, to think. Uh, so, as I said, three issues of total lameness. Uh, they're not... Uh, if I were to rate Shadowland as a series, I would give it a... Uh, 2 out of 5, easily. And that 2 is more like a 1.8 out of 5. It, I thought it was just a total waste of money, and it just really wasn't worth it. Uh, the New Avengers, and like I said, it's a transition issue, so we'll see where it goes from there. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Rate the video up or down, let me know what you think. I'm really curious to see what your eyes' feedback is uh, for the finale of Shadowland. And no, I'm not buying that last Shadowland issue. That's I'm not. Marvel is not getting uh, another what three fifty or three dollars of my money for this piece of trash. So uh, until next time.